Alright folks, welcome back to Final Fantasy X. I am the Mysterious JG. And it is time for us to continue the story. I mentioned before, I got two save slots at this point, really. One of them where I did a lot of off-screen leveling, and one of them where I'm a little bit closer to level where you really ought to be. So let's watch some uh, plot scenes unfold. And I'm going to use my overpowered party real quick. Uh, to show you a boss battle where I'm just going to blow this boss right out of the water. But as you recall, everyone's kind of hanging around here. Everyone's kind of bummed out, Yuna in particular. Smiling. Although she does her little right. her little Keep gesture, which seems to indicate that she's a little more animated than her voice makes her sound. But yeah, we're, we're trying to head off screen. Uh, we're heading towards Makalania Temple to, uh, you know, to get this whole wedding thing rolling. So let's do that. Lady Yuna, oh, we've been expecting you. Oh, it's just a monster we were surprised you decided to come so soon. Yeah, normally oh, it's really hard to make me come. Of course. Lord Seymour sends his apologies for having left without notice. He is a good friend. It's quite all right. I have one question, if I may, sir. No, shut your mouth. Milady. I want to keep journeying. Even if I marry you will be handcuffed to the stove and asked to squirt out kids uh, course, one or two every uh, other month. Lord Seymour wishes nothing else, I'm sure. Uh, goodbye. I'll never see any of you again. Well, we must follow Grotto tradition. I'll have to ask you to wait here a little while longer. I'll send someone to escort you. Oh, cool, they're sending escorts. I'm not going to miss Nuke Yuna as much as I thought. We're all with you. Do as you will. Thank you. You know, I once turned down marriage, but... Hmm? That was your line. Oh, sorry, uh, we're all with you. Do as you will. Yuna! <laughs> yes, sir! I thought the whistle signal meant he was in trouble. So when she yells, yes, sir, she's supposed to come back and save him or something? I'll bed. Oh, crap, I'll bed. And Titus just kind of watches. He's like, huh, oh, I'll bed. What do you know? Anyway, folks, uh, on this screen here, I ran back and forth, encountering monsters. Well, encountering one monster party, actually. Awesome game for the NES. Go check that out, Monster Party. No, I did one battle where I just um, made Titus keep throwing potions at whoever I wanted to get his affection up with high and made him attack whoever's affection was already high because I wanted to create uh, save game slots where he had different characters at maximum affection uh, so that you could see this piece of dialogue coming up several different ways. Well, the problem is it took way longer than I thought it would. Like, annoyingly long. I ended up watching, um, I'd fallen qu uh, quite a few videos behind. I got entirely caught up with Steambot Chronicles while doing that. Sadly, I did this while, uh, I was at, um, Shirana, uh, which is not my normal camp that I live at, and I don't have internet here, so I couldn't make any kind of timestamp comments. I just remember having really enjoyed a lot of, like, he, you know, Bobo singing a song about, you know, I can't remember exactly which Steambot Chronicle thing, but he's like, you know, we're going to go out and do some stuff. It's going to be great. And now we have just pancaked two buses. It was great. Sadly, I didn't comment or timestamp any of it. So, Bobo, it's going out to you, man. Steambot Chronicles, loving it, even though the game seems to completely even more pointless than ever at this point in this LP. But anyway, I'm sorry, I didn't mean, didn't mean that to sound negative, but um, yeah, so I watched a lot of Steambot Chronicles, and uh, you'll have to forgive me if every so often in the middle of a boss fight I start going, Connie. But um, yeah, so now we're going to fight through, and uh, this is this is the one that counts, because in the long run, this, saves, this save is what we're actually going to be using. Thank you. <laughs> yes, thank you, Ricky. Yes, he. Get your disgusting Let freak hand off me. Riku. He just let them walk off. 
Oh. Don't interfere or you get this. Then he pulls down his pants. Oh, he is blowing out the big gun, though. Hey, I, have this in my, I keep this in my pants all the time, Riku, baby. He's a freak. Your precious magic and aeons are sealed. Dude is a complete freak. Shirtless, tattooed to the nines. Looks like Billy Idol. <laughs> I wonder how in, in uh, how bad you say. If you think I'm sexy and you want my body, why don't you just let me know? I should do more of the words of that song. That'd be a great way to get through this boss battle singing. If you think I'm sexy and you want my body, why don't you just let me know? All right, so I'm using mix. I'm using. Three stars, a very high-end item that I got by... I got two of them by doing the, uh... Well, I'm not actually gonna... I'm gonna do this on camera to, to win this boss fight in one turn. But this is not actually the way that... Uh, I'm not gonna actually waste three stars. I'll off-screen this later on. And uh, But my point is, I got three stars, right? I got two of them from winning Blitzball Leagues while collecting mostly so that I could collect... Uh, Return spheres and uh, and also get uh, walk us overdrives and stuff. But uh, you mix two three stars together. They're they're both items that reduce the entire party's MP cost to zero. Useful against certain bosses. If you mix two of those together, you get something called sunburst. I think several item combinations do this. Any really high end items you throw into a mix. And we got an overkill on the boss in one one turn. Because that particular attack has uh, automatically has the damage cap of 9,999 uh, lifted. Which means that it's able to do more than that much damage in one turn. More than any of our Aeon Overdrives could do right now. And uh, thus in one turn we defeated the boss. Don't worry folks. When I load and show you one of the other characters' uh, affinities, being really high, we're actually going to fight the boss for reals. But that's just a, you know... It would be a complete waste if I was actually going to go with this to use two twin stars to beat a boss of, like, the stature of this one would be a total waste. Especially considering how much time it took me to get those two twin stars. How much Blitzball I had to play. But just for funsies, we'll go with it for right now. Milady. Ooh. So, my lady, that's all I had to say. Riku! I will tell father. I am the guardian of Yuna now. Of Yuna, you see? Yuna is safe. We will guard her. She is safe. You do this alone, sister. So, there you go. That's what he actually said. I told him I was a guardian. Well, I guess I had to, really. How come you speak out bed? Why? What are you, Al Qaeda or something? Because I'm Al Bed, and that was my brother. His name's brother. It's really stupid. Mm. Hmm. Why didn't you tell me? We knew you'd be upset. <laughs> well, that's a great this reason. This is great. I can't believe I've been traveling with an Al Bed, a heathen. You're wrong. We have nothing against Yevon. That doesn't make you not a heathen. But you, Al Bed, used the forbidden machina. You know what that means? You have bed with short shorts in the winter. It's ridiculous. You got proof? Show me proof. I have this signed deposition from Sin. Not that you know. That's not good enough. Yevon says this. Yevon says that. Can't you think for yourself? If Yevon jumped off a cliff. Then you tell me. Where did Sin come from, huh? Came from your I, butt, Walker. I don't know. <laughs> You badmouth Yevin, and that's all you can come up with! There's crazy shit going on in the sky. That doesn't mean you should do whatever they say without thinking. I think it does. Well, At least they told me to think that. Way. Nothing has to change. <laughs> you want Sin to keep coming back? Sure. There might be a way to stop it, you know? Sin will be gone once we atone for our past mistakes. When? How? Oh, why, why, why? If we keep faith in Yevin's teachings, it will be gone one day. Why do I even bother? Riku. Hmm? Will this move? Yes! 
Well, I mean, when if you move your head around, it'll look like it's moving. Wait. So Aron is an Albert too, is it? <laughs> Come on, Waka. How fucking stupid what? are you? I mean, getting angry just because you found out Riku's an Albert. Actually, I'm kind of pissed that you guys didn't tell me, you know. That's different. I mean, I've only known her for about well, four videos. I claim to know that much about Spira. And I probably know even less about the Albed, but I know Riku's a good person. Oh, you don't know what she's, she's been doing behind your back, man. She says some nasty shit about you. Just think of this as an opportunity to learn more about the Albed. We can kill them more efficiently <laughs> later. <laughs> Give him time this to my little voice. <laughs> You've done nothing to apologize for. Actually, Riku should apologize in general Let's principle. Ride. Just for being a Riku. Better than Kamari does. Alright, and from this point, more or less exactly, um, the following conversation will split off depending on who your affection level is highest with. Uh, so, like I said, the the one that will actually kind of count as the um, the canon version for our LP purposes is the one I'm going to show you first. But I'm going to go show you a bunch of alternates, and uh, then we'll actually carry on and fight the next boss using our underleveled party. But I'm going to switch over to the overleveled party from that that point on in the LP. But coming up next, the canonical version of this, like ice speeder whatever ride sequence Riku mostly because I spent a lot of time getting her affection high so that we could see her talk with Titus at Quattro Salam even though it was Lulu who had the high affection otherwise so Riku even though normally when I play through the game uh, we I end up getting the Titus talks with Lulu sequence but we get Titus and Riku this time Sorry about my face. You didn't have to be so mean, yeah? You mean yeah. I almost cried. The yeah. Riku. Just kidding. The only bitches I'm cry. Fine. At least you're still nice. I mean, you're not going on crying like a bitch all the time, are you, Titus? I mean, hey, if I knew that you did that, I wouldn't... like uni, you think? Huh? Well, you're both bipeds. Well, my dad's sister is uni's mother. You get it? Hmm. Ah. I had no idea. If you say so. Really don't care. Mm -hmm. Okay. I guess you're guarding your family then. Yuna's not the only one that I want to protect. Ooh, huh? sexy. Come on, Titus. They she's coming on to you. To protect all of the summers, you know? Oh, never mind. I thought she was coming on to you. Are, well, you could say that they sacrifice themselves too well to bring happiness to Spira. Hmm. What do you mean? Oh. Riku? Yes? Sacrifice themselves? You know, the pilgrimage. It, uh, takes a lot out of you. Nudge, nudge, know what I mean? Right. But you know, Yuna's real serious about being a summoner. For Yuna, well, the pilgrimage kind of means everything to her. So don't you fuck with the pilgrimage, or I'm gonna fuck with you, you got me? Mm. So you shouldn't say that Yuna's sacrificing herself. But she's uh, literally sacrificing herself, Titus. Uh, Riku? Dude. I hope you're right. I mean, you know, it takes a lot out of you. Are you are you tracking here, Titus? Are you are you hearing anything, Titus? Titus, are you retarded? <laughs> I'm sorry. That's uh that's one of the clear hints uh, that we're gonna get in this game. But uh, it's optional. It's an optional hint. You can you can talk to somebody else and, and you don't get the conversation about summoners and the Albed and blah de blah de blah. All this becomes clear relatively soon anyway. So rather than dwelling on it and potentially ruining it for anybody who's still trying to put it all together, let's go ahead and like I haven't already, let's go ahead and jump to another another version. We're gonna have to go through a lot of the same dialogue again. You know what? No, no, I'm not gonna do it this way. I'm going to load state. I've actually got um I have two loaded states where I went ahead and actually got to this point. And then we're going to have to go through the battle and fight that boss for reals so we can get the last version. Because this particular conversation, you can talk to any of the four characters other than Titus. 
that you see on screen. You can't talk to Waka. Matter of fact, I don't even know how he gets to the snowfield without the, the bike. And you can't talk to Yuna, because obviously she's not even present. But um, you can talk to L Riku, Lulu, Kimari, or Oren. We're going to see two of those four. Just just a conversation, that's it. Then we're going to go back and we're going to fight the boss for reals. So it's not just me cheesing my way to victory with the... Uh, a Riku Overdrive one turn wonder win. We're actually going to fight it uh, fair square, fair and square. Even though our party is a little bit over leveled, even even on this save slot, they're a little over leveled. We'll fight it and uh, we'll see it for reals. But first, let's ride. Let's ride. You sure you know how to drive this? Whiskey for my uh, beer for my horses and whiskey for my men. Let's ride, USA, USA. I don't know what kind of voice JJ's doing. I do like Titus' reaction to the two girls going together. It's like, hey, it's kind of sapphic and hot, but I'm really not going to get a very good, good view of it. So this one was a bitch to get, but you can get Orin's Affinity High. Then what happens? You're no fucking ride with at all. What? <laughs> I'll take Kamari over you any day. You know, so would I. I'd take Kamari over you, Titus. Just don't do anything rash. Wish Jack to ask me to watch over Kamari. I'm saying you should not complicate matters, or you'll find yourself trapped. Understand? Then you might get killed by like Mega Rock. I need you to tell me that. Okay, fuck you too, Titus. I guess there's some sense in what you're saying. Make mistakes. Huh? That's what youth is for, after all. Do not waste it. Mm. Kind of so which is it? That is some kind of conflicting advice you're giving there, Oren. So that wasn't a very long conversation, but there it is. And for some reason, you end up at a very slightly different spot on the screen. Can we, uh, can we go back? I didn't even think about this before. Yeah, you can go back. But there's enemies, so there's no particular reason to. We will have to go back this way later. Whoa, accidentally got some desktop going there. Oh, and as you can see, um... <laughs> yeah, that save slot was a little weird, because, um... Uh, I was fighting the same monster for like dozens and dozens and dozens of turns, feeding potions to Orin, killing Riku to get, um, like having Titus kill Riku and have Orin revive Riku to get that affinity down, and feeding lots of potions to Orin to keep the affinity up. Didn't want to waste a lot of turns healing Titus, and eventually I got to a point where Titus was almost wiped out by the one remaining monster that was left. But let's load state. This is kind of the one I'd like to save. I would have liked to save this one for last, but actually, it makes more sense to do the boss battle at the end of the video. So, even though it would have been fun to have as the last one, right. let's run! You sure you know how to drive this? Run, run like the demon that drives old dreams. Better than Kamari does. It's like yeah, big knock on Kamari for no reason. Well, you know what, ain't Lulu we're talking to, folks. So it's only one person it could be. Now, th I kept thinking that I had Orin again because of that last shot, but no. Like, hey, ooh, thanks for having me, baby. We're going to go out to the clubs together. You're going to be my wingman, daddy. Say. See. What do you think about Riku being in our bed? I don't give a shit. Ronzo are followers of Yevon. Ronzo dislike our bed. Oh. I get it. Not Kimari. I'll bet our I'll bet. Riku is Riku. Oh, so she's one of the good ones? To protect Yuna. And Riku is not a liar. Kimari can tell. Now you, you're lying through your fucking teeth. A friend. You know, you might want to tell her that later. I think she needs to know that we still want her with us. Well, I talk to her all the Kimari time. It's you're the one I never talk to. Why? Kimari think you are kind. Uh, don't tell anyone, okay? Kamari is surprised that you are kind, or Kamari thought you were kind, but what you're telling him to do now, Kamari thinks is a dick move. I don't really understand that conversation either. But, uh, yeah, basically, Kamari's like, yeah, I'm cool with Riku. And that's what that conversation is. That's, that's nice. I like that. That's fine. It's like... But I, I, I do kind of disapprove of the... I don't think this is what Kamari's saying, but because of the, like, noble savage speak, sometimes the nuance doesn't come across. It kind of sounds like something I've heard before. Racists always throw me, because over the years I've actually met one or two racists who were like otherwise really good guys, but just kind of like have a weird block where they just don't like, you know, people of a certain color, and it's, it's weird. They're like, 
Yeah, he's like a really good, nice guy. He'd help you out in a minute, but he'd also like use the phrase, that's mighty wide of you in all sincerity. Kind of weird. And, um, even some some guys like even if they even if they like know a black guy is like a friend of theirs and they're cool with them uh the attitude is always like oh well he's not like the others or like oh he's okay i mean you know and they're not all bad just most of them right you know yeah kind of throws you this game is um it's kind of weird I, i've had this discussion through comments with shady knights on his lp I, I, and now I'm getting off into a weird tangent, but I kind of like the fact that Waka is like generally a positive character. He's like a big brother to Titus, looking over, looking, looking out for him, taking care of him, especially at the very beginning of the game. Um, and he's just generally a nice guy. He's like kind of fun, goofy, not the smartest guy you're ever going to come across, but like got a good heart. And then they give him this. He's got this problem with the out bed. And it kind of make kind of makes him like human, especially because we find out why he has this problem with them. And it's um, well, actually, it's the last conversation reveals a little bit of it. So I'd probably just wait. Uh, Lulu actually explains a little bit of what Waka's deal is with the Albed, but I like it because it kind of humanizes him. He's like, you know, he's a good guy. This is not one of his finer points. But um, you know, and if you haven't if if you haven't figured out that before the game's over, Waka is going to reconcile with Riku and apologize for being a douche, then, you know, that's, come on, you know that's coming. They're, they're not going to just, like, make Waka an otherwise positive character. They're not going to have, like, a positive pro-racism message in the end where it turns out that <laughs> Waka was right not to trust the Albed. They're actually a bunch of bastards. Yeah, that's not the message that's coming, folks. But anyway, one last pass through this whole thing and this one's going to involve fighting the boss again the four reels so that we can get the actual um one the the version of this conversation i usually get and the one i would have gotten this time if i hadn't um fought to get our affinity high with riku just so you could see uh alternate dialogue earlier this is the way my playstyle almost always results resolves which is us uh, just I guess, I don't know if she gets killed a lot, or if I just tend to use Titus to heal her, and other people tend to heal Riku, or Riku just gets killed outright and somebody casts life on her, but somehow, I always end up having a high affinity with Lulu. So we're going to see the conversation with Lulu last, but technically it's the one with Riku, which will stand as, um, as the one that really sort of happened, <laughs> if you follow me. Lady Yuna, we've been expecting it's almost like we've gone through we this conversation before. So soon. Yeah, yeah. Please. Female orgasm Please. joke. We already did that. Lord Seymour sends his apologies for having left without notice. Seriously, do you want to marry me or it's not? Right. I have one question, if I may, sir. How many types of fish can I you want name? To keep journeying, even if I marry. I do want to join Journey, the me? band. But of course, my lady. Lord Seymour wishes nothing else, I'm sure. He's certainly not evil. Uh, goodbye. Well, Titus, seriously. Orn's got a point. You need I'll to step up and fucking say something here. A little while longer. I'll send someone to escort you. Which would be a Orn really shouldn't have to intercede here. We're all with you. Do as you will. Thank you. Sorry. Hmm? That was your. Life. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I should have said that, Orin. Oh, you're talking to Titus. Okay. Yuna. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You should come to your father or me okay. if you get in trouble. Okay. Yes, sir. Here's a fun thing to do. Try to leave them to their fate. <laughs> You'll find that they are with you in battle anyway. Yuna is gone from the party at this point, but everyone else is still hanging out. And I don't want to waste a ton of time with this. It's just kind of fun. There's a couple of neat little dialogue. Uh, well, not neat, but some dialogue stuff where guys are like... You need something for the big rescue, eh? I've got just a thing. He didn't have shit. It's all the same stuff he had before. Hey, you want something else? I just want your sweet loving, Awaka. 
come in here. Now they do, they make it so you can come back, so that you have the option of saving. If you had no idea a boss battle was coming, you might want to save. What is all that ruckus outside? It's interfering with my ability to be boring. What is all that? And I'm pretty sure they don't say anything in trip. I didn't mean to buy items, but whatever. And uh, Klosko says the same thing if you talk to him or try to leave. So let's just try to leave. Um, shouldn't you go rescue them? <laughs> Freaking Klosko. And I guess I'm not good at explaining. The Mushroom Rock Ro High Road is that way. And we're like, yeah, you're good. At, you're fine at explaining, Klosko. We just don't give a shit what you say. And here it's like, um, aren't you gonna rescue them? Like, shut up, Klosko. Mind your own business. Attend your chocobos. Don't you worry about us. We'll take care of our business. I suppose I could have used that battle to build up some overdrive gauges, but it's really not worth it. So now we're actually going to have this boss battle with uh, Brothers Cannon. <laughs> Stand back. This is my cannon, this is Thank my gun. You. One is for business, one is for fun. I forget how that goes. Ooh. I was working in the lab late one night. I can't remember the next line. Cool. Something about getting a bite. Riku, interferon is a cure potentially for AIDS virus. It said inner something, I don't know. I don't think it uses half of that shit that it. Quinn, precious magic and aeons, oink, tealed. Translation? He's gonna use an anti magic field on us. So what? Neither of us use magic. God bless them, Mother McCree. Alright. We really probably should have come up with some amusing stuff to say during that sequence, but whatever. Musical slow down, music slow down, music slow down, music slow down. Music's not speeding up a little bit, but the ads of music slow down. You can use self destruct, it's pretty much never a good idea. Fire breath, seed cannon, aqua breath. Um, I guess water might seep into the machinery or something. Apparently, it didn't hit the negator. But uh, I think what you find out fairly quickly here. Oh wow, he really. Oh, that's it's Lulu's turn. No wonder I was trying to get her to do like. Oren skills. Well, as is sometimes the case in this game, I'm going to kind of pretend I don't know what to do so we can kind of stumble through a turn or two of finding out what's going to work and what's not going to work. So let's try using Power Break on it. See how much damage Oren's attack does while we're at it. Not very much. That was pretty much a wasted turn. Oh, the ga it does use its Gatling gun. I just never really let the, the battle last long enough before for it to mess with it too much. Okay, well, we found out that it's it's weak against lightning. Uh, physical attacks seem to be doing very little damage. And uh, it's uh, blocking our magical attacks. So let's get somebody out here who can do something about that. I'm pretty sure if anybody other than Waka tries to physically attack the negator, they miss. You can use stuff like, you know, grenade items and uh, lancet, but this is pretty much the easiest way to get rid of it. Although he, she, he didn't manage to finish it off, I'm surprised. I guess he... Yeah, this really is not as highly level, leveled up a party as what I've been using. It's still not gone. This is actually going to be a bit of a fight. You got to realize I beat this thing many, many times over while trying to um, just trying to um, double check whether I had my affinities where I wanted them for the save state. So I fought this thing a lot of times, but not really with this party, and not really without immediately going after the correct tactic. So none of the gator is gone. Yuna, you can use 
magic and call aeons now. So let's use magic and call aeons now. Let's summon Ixion. Is Ixion's lightning elemental? I ought to be able to fuck this thing up in a hurry. I call upon the power of electrical unicorn things, although after Seymour's and I have our wedding night, I will no longer be able to summon the unicorn, sadly. Maybe some kind of lightning horse without the unicorn horn, but... Alright, well, I think we know what we need to start out with here. Thor's hammer. See, it looks like this should be doing huge amounts of damage to the machine, but instead, we get this stupid thing where it launches lighting attacks and then the damage is inflicted when it falls down and hits the ground. Now, that did do as much damage as an attack can do without the uh, damage ceiling lifted, but that's not really all that... In this game... Oh, and of course, it its turns are set up so it gets very few turns. thing is almost dead. It's getting ready to do its big mana attack thing. Oh, in one turn. Oops. And that attacks all party members, so if you're, uh, regular old dudes or, uh, out, it hits all of them for pretty significant damage. You can reduce it with shell, and it won't usually kill your party off in one hit or anything like that, but it's pretty bad. Let's see if it can be it with dark status. We could just finish it off with the Aeon, but I'm trying to give this thing a chance to show off what it's capable of. It's capable of going for Mana Beam again. That's nice to know. Get Lulu out here. She never got a chance to do it. Lulu. Oh, she didn't even have Thundaga on this save. Wow. It does seem to just attack whoever was last, um. Last had their turn. Oh, this could actually be pretty ugly here if I, uh. So there's no chance that you've got um, shell. Pretty sure Yuna doesn't because of the way I leveled her up. I'm trying to let it. It will actually do something. I want. I want you to see what happens if you are not quite as efficient with uh, getting rid of the negator and uh, let. And you don't use the the best possible overdrive against it. I'm trying to give it sort of a chance to uh, to make a bit of a comeback here, just so I can let you see more of it, what it's capable of doing. Oh wow, she's going to be in trouble. Maybe she does no shell. She does no shell. Holy crap! If I cast haste on her, is there any way that she'll get another turn? No, not before it uses the mana thing. Crap. Well, I'll use haste on myself anyway. She does not have shell. Yeah, I didn't realize that Yuna had shell. Oops. I think that decreases healing, too. Yeah. So here's the mana beam. Now you get to see it being used against my party members. For funsies. As you can see, it does some pretty massive damage. I don't think that it affects how much prey heals you. Yeah. It doesn't affect prey. And this is going straight back to Mana Beam. This thing better freaking uh, 
thing needs to do what I was telling you it can do, where it sends out the negator again. I don't know why I'm bothering with this crap. It will, um... You know what? Screw it. If it if the negator goes out, if for some reason if Riku defeats the negator, or maybe if someone else defeats the negator and Riku's actively in the party, she says, Uni, you can use summon some magic now! If Waka defeats it, he goes, Lu, use your magic now! If for some reason I thought it would be nice to show you him saying that, but I don't care anymore. So let's try and finish this off with Thunder Fury. This would be better if it was Thun Thundara Fury, but whatever. So Lulu gets the win, and as a reward, she gets to talk to Titus when they ride the ice bike things. Way to go, Lulu. You've earned the right to talk to the guy who annoys the hell out of you. I bet she's clearly not as annoyed by Titus as she used to be. As you can see, these guys get significantly more uh, spear levels for defeating that thing. Riku leveling up several times, because these guys are just not quite as leveled up. Milady. Anything else, Trommel? No? Okay. Bye, guys. Riku! What's your deal? I gotta... I'll tell Father about the time you sat on my head and farted when I was six. So, uh, are you in love with Yuna yet, brother? Or that's gonna come later? I told him I was a guardian. Well... Yes, I had to, really. X marks the spot Come where Riku's hand is Why? located, I guess. Uh, well, yeah. Uh, 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 she's an Albed. I'm Albed. And that was my brother. Are you also Al Qaeda? <laughs> Al Jazeera? Al Fresco? Alabama? This is great. I'm loving this shit. I can't believe I've been traveling with an Albed by heathen. You're wrong. We have nothing against Yevon. Besides, uh, Titus is obviously an Albed, he's blonde. You know what that means? Sin was born because people use Machina. I thought Sin was born because of the eye apple and the snake and shit. It's in Yevon's teaching. Well, not that you know. That's not good enough. Yevon says this, Yevon says that. Can't you think for yourself? Yevon says, no, you roll well, and shut you your mouth. Me. Where did Sin come from, huh? I. Uh, I already I told know. you, you're butt walker. <laughs> You badmouth Yevin, and that's all you can come up with. But that doesn't mean you should do whatever they say without thinking. That's exactly what it means. Nothing will ever change that way. Nothing has to change. I like having my you top half my head cut out of frame. Back? There might be a way to stop it, you know. Sin will be gone once we atone for our past mistakes. When? How? If we keep faith in Yevin's teachings, it will be gone one day. Why do I even bother? Riku. Hmm? Well, Stop move. arguing theology with morons. We're not using that, are we? Wait. So Aron is an Albed too, is he? Come on, Waka. What? I think you're secretly Albed, Waka. Angry just because you found out Riku's an Albed. You guys got along fine till now, didn't you? That's different. I mean, I, well, da, da, da. I don't claim to know that much about Spira. And I probably know even less about the Albed, but I know Riku's a good person. I know, my lips don't match Riku. my speech. Just think of this as an Albed. <laughs> Watch that first step, it's a Lulu. Let him go. Give him time to think. It might take a couple of days. This is Waka we're talking about. You've done nothing to apologize for. You'll have a lot to apologize right. for after Final Let's Fantasy X2. You sure you know how to drive this? Better than Kamari does. Hey, fuck you, I'm an excellent driver. Uh, so this is what I think of as the actual conversation, since this is the one I always used to get, but... So I hang out with uh, Mary Sunshine here. I hope that you're not too mad at Waka. Eh, I never liked hey, him. Not at all. Oh, really, I don't give a crap. Thank you. Please stare at my breasts. That's what they're here for. Say, what do you think of Riku? Me? She's fun to be I with. I can't believe you asked my opinion. 
That all? It's the last time I'll ever be relevant in this game. Well, I can tell she's not a bad person. Yeah. You know what the problem is? She's just another Albed to Waka. Waka's head is as hard as a rock. Yeah, make I bet it's because of Yevon. Or, you know, something like yeah, that. Yeah, to make fun of her religion and her well, oldest friend no at the same point. time. That's going to win her over. Hmm? Waka doesn't like the Albed because of his brother Chapu. Oh! He used a Machina weapon, right? He was also Albed. And got killed by Sin. Killed by my old man. Oh man, take a look at me you're killing. Looks a lot like I do. What? No, oh, nothing. Hey, can someone like a human become sin ever? What the hell are you talking I can't about? I say that I know. But why? Just a thought. Sin is the punishment for, and the incarnation of crimes we have committed. So, uh, most of mine involve so doing no too really many dudes. There's no need to know. So no one asks. You run or you fight. That is really all you can do. There's no sense brooding over it. What, that's all? I mean, you don't even wonder? <laughs> you you asked a direct question. From a world where there is no sin, like you say. I can see that now, even though at all times one of my eyes is covered by my hair. And there we have it, folks. Let's get a Mega Potion, and let's end the video. So, uh, that's it for this video, folks. When we come back, uh, I'm just going to play on through using this party, and uh, we're going to, well, like I said, we're going to go through one more boss battle before I uh, pretty much um, retire this group and go on with the, the group that's that's really leveled up more. But um, I'm not going to tell you what that boss battle is. I'm sure you have no idea. Could be a ways away. Could be coming up next. One thing I know is coming up next is, well, we're at the Makalania Temple. Our good, close friend and uh, the love of, of uh, Yuna's life, Maester Seymour's in there. So I know you're looking forward to seeing him. Anyway, folks, this is Mysterious JG. I want to thank you guys for watching. And uh, I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.